for all the love and encouragement that you have shown us in our last video you know how much i love watercolors so i'll be reviewing something important today when you are using watercolors the most important thing is the colors and the brushes you use so the recent brushes that i'm using is the kolinsky imitation uh, range from brushro so today I'll be reviewing that uh, for you and those who, who follow me on Instagram will know how much I have been loving and enjoying these brushes recently. New art materials always excite me a lot, especially when good Indian brands are coming up with interesting things. We have all heard about the high-end brushes and the good quality brushes and we know how expensive they are. They are worth the money they are charging but still sometimes we can't afford uh, such high-end brushes. Kolinsky brushes are very popular among artists worldwide. They are made from the hair of a certain kind of weasel and they are handmade. And that is why they are very costly. Now, Brustro has come up with uh, their own range of uh, the imitations of Kolinsky brushes and they are cruelty free and synthetic. What I generally see in brushes are how they perform, uh, not the cost or not the brand. I just see how they perform, how they hold water and how they are smooth and soft. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you have seen me in my social media platforms, I have been ranting about this a lot. The first one among the three that I'll be talking about today is the Angular one. It's a size 4. So I generally keep this packaging uh, plastic on because it keeps my brushes safe. This Angular brush uh, is very versatile. It gives a huge range of strokes which is interesting. I use it for watercolors, for gouache, for acrylics but I wash it very well after every use. These brushes generally give such good lines and different kind of lines actually. This is a very thick stroke. This is the maximum I can get from this brush. And then this is the thinnest one I can manage right now. So this is how a single brush can provide you with so many different kinds of strokes. It's amazing when you use it for gouache and you want to give it, give your painting some texture, some characteristic. These brushes generally hold a good and a generous amount of water, which is really something worth appreciating. For those who like using such brushes, must, must go for this one. This is something I would really recommend. The next one is a size 2 from the same range of brushes. This is a comparatively thinner brush and I use it generally for filling up smaller areas. It, it also holds a good amount of water which I really really like. I get different kind of strokes from this too and uh, a round brush is always good to have. These brushes have a very thin tip and a stiff tip which is actually good for watercolor brushes when you're painting and it holds a good amount of water and you can draw like this thin line and you can go on with it go on with it and the brush will provide the water you need when you're painting small leaves this is good for that you can fill up small areas it's good for some strokes I really love this one. I wish I just got some more size ranges from this round brush range. I, I It will really be very useful for my kind of paintings. The third one that I want to share with you is the travel brush. Trust me, I love 
carrying my things wherever I go and I love painting uh, when I travel, when I, I, I like keeping my things in my bag. When a brush is travel friendly and it comes with a lid, like it's, it's heaven for me. This one in particular is a travel brush from the same range. Uh, this is the lid. It actually comes like this. The most important, it doesn't stay, it rolls away, which is, I think, uh, if the design could be a bit different, it would be really, I wouldn't lose it somewhere. Otherwise, I really like how sleek this looks, this shiny, metally cover. I really like it. It looks kind of like a bullet. And uh, this is how we open it. And now the brush seems too small, but uh, the fun thing is you can just attach the brush with the lid, so it becomes like a long handle brush, which is easier to use, definitely. So this is a size six brush. Uh, the sad part is this only comes in size six now, and uh, I hope they come up with some new range of size and the type of brushes for this uh, travel brush um, thing. Uh, this page is quite messed up so let me take a new page so what I was saying is this brush holds a very good amount of water so when I'm taking the paint it's I can go with really, really uh, light shades and it's great for drawing leaves trust me it's beautiful the good thing about these brushes are that these have a very uh, fine tip which actually lets you do the detailing works very nicely. It's very easy to come up with really thin lines, thin strokes, small strokes which is very important uh, for me when I'm illustrating or I'm painting. Just like the other brushes, this also provides a huge variety of strokes. And this kind of lines, which I really like. I use this for the detailings in my paintings. And still I can go with this kind of strokes, which is very interesting. And this happens because of the amount of water it holds. It's very important for good brushes, for good watercolor brushes to hold a generous amount of water. I have one request to make to all of you. Please, please kindly take care of your brushes. Um, wash them after every use, especially when you're using acrylics or inks, which may dry and, uh, you know, they will remain in this uh, area of the brush and it slowly damages your brush. Kindly take care of your brush and love your brush like it's your child and they will give you the performance you need. I hope you liked the video, the review and the brushes. I would highly recommend these brushes for watercolor art especially. I really love them and you can see the excitement I have for using them. So that will be all for today. See you in the next video. Till then, happy painting.